Hello, Berlin. Thank you for being here today. Keine Leute. So, was viel passiert? Uh, ich werde leider auf Englisch weiter vorführen. Uh, this is the Chelsea update. Soldier, soldier Chelsea Elizabeth Manning, formerly known as Bradley Manning, has received a 35-year sentence, which represents the harshest punishment issued in the history for providing media with evidence of war crimes. She is officially the first whistleblower to be convicted under the Espionage Act, a very draconian law, ratifying a new reality that those who give the press information that the government wants to keep secret will henceforth be treated as spies. This is unacceptable. A new era is upon us. Manning's sentence is the only the latest example of criminalization of investigative journalism that has greatly intensified in the Obama era. While whistleblowers have been the chief targets, as well as the free press, of such harsh uh, crackdown on the media, it, which is challenging this official secrecy, Manning's lawyers say that she will be eligible for parole in about seven years after having been given credit for her over three years that she's already served while in prison, including months of torture. Her defense now is moving into a new phase. After she was sentenced, Manning issued a very strong open appeal to President Barack Obama for an executive clemency or pardon. This will be pursued legally. We invite you to continue your interest and support. It's very important. Thank you. And then Manning publicly stated that she would like to live her now, life now as a woman and changed her name to Chelsea. She said she would like to seek medical treatments to change her body accordingly. We support her in this new decision. The Army immediately responded that it would allow no such treatments. Now Chelsea is challenging this decision in court. This is a part of the fight for her to receive fair and good treatment in prison in general. We invite you to please continue your support. These campaigns will help keep her case in the public eye and prepare, if necessary, to fight for her early release at the first opportunity for parole. According to her lawyer, David Coombs, Chelsea is currently going through the indoctrination process at the Fort Leavenworth United States Disciplinary Barracks. The indoctrination process lasts approximately three weeks and is designed to give the new prisoner information on the facility and the opportunities available within. He says, I am happy to report that Chelsea, she's doing very well at the USDB and has already made several friends who accept her for who she is. Due to, the going, due to going through indoctrination, Chelsea was unaware of the public response after having come out and said that she wants to live with Chelsea. And during our conversation, I informed Chelsea of the overwhelming support for her decision worldwide. I also told her about how responsible media have elected to respect her wishes and refer to her by her new name. Chelsea was very happy to hear of these developments and she requested that I relay how grateful she is for everyone's understanding and continued support. It is my continued hope that we will be able to obtain hormone therapy and other necessary medical treatment for Chelsea while she's in prison. You may also look to the private Manning Support Network because the name has changed and check out this website for the latest updates on our efforts to support Chelsea through her new phase in life. Um, I'm here today as spokesperson to tell you that this is very important. Uh, the, the war on the press freedoms and on whistleblowers is unprecedented and it continues and we need to support uh, Julian Assange who will be close to 1,000 days in uh, the Ecuadorian embassy in the beginning of September. We also have a, a gag order on Barrett Brown's case. 
and other whistleblowers, John Kiriak, who was sitting in jail after having reported on waterboarding and torture, the CIA. Um, we must be vigilant, and we're sitting here in one of the freest capitals in the world, and we as Americans look to the German public that you can serve as a light to the world in terms of privacy protections. This is really, really important. We're on the frontier of the 21st century, and we need to be able to defend ourselves in this digital age. Um, elections are upon us and I think it's important that we hold our uh, elected officials to account and they have lied to us here too. And we hope that the German informed citizenry will take the necessary efforts to hold their elected officials, uh, officials into account. Um, one last comment I would say. Uh, governments are instituted by the people and derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. And lest we forget that whenever any form of government becomes oppress oppressive, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it or institute a new government. I'm afraid that era is upon us and we must act accordingly. Thank you very much. Please support Chelsea and all the whistleblowers and the friends of the press.